वेलकम बैक टू इन्फिज्ञान फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी हैव गॉट वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एलजेब्रा हेयर वी हैव टू इवेल्यूएट एक्स प्लस सेवन ओवर रूट एक्स वैल्यू इफ गिवन इक्वेशन इज सेवन बाई एक्स माइनस टू रूट एक्स प्लस वन ओवर एक्स प्लस सेवन इक्वल टू वन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बाई कंसिडरिंग अवर एक्सप्रेशन इक्वल टू ई एंड आई कैन बिगिन विथ एक्स कैन नॉट बी जीरो एंड एक्स कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव सेवन डिनोमिनेटर कैन नॉट बी जीरो नाउ रूट एक्स इज ऑल्सो देयर सो एक्स शुड बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो नाउ आई विल बिगिन विद अवर गिवन इक्वेशन सो आई कैन राइट सेवन ओवर एक्स माइनस टू स्क्वायर रूट एक्स प्लस वन ओवर एक्स प्लस सेवन इक्वल टू वन Now I will take this term to the right and one to the left. So I can write seven by x minus one equal to two square root x plus one divided by x plus seven. Now I will take LCM in LHS. So seven minus x divided by x. it will be equal to 2 square root x plus 1 divided by 7 plus x now x is not equal to 0 x is not equal to minus 7 so i can cross multiply so i will be writing 7 plus x times 7 minus x it will be equal to x times 2 root x plus 1 Now a plus b times a minus b in LHS. So we can write here the difference of two squares identity a square minus b square. So right hand side is x times two root x plus one and left hand side will be seven square minus x square. So seven square minus x square it will be equal to x times two square root x plus one. Now seven square is forty nine. Let me write here x times two root x plus one equal to forty nine minus x square. Now I will add x square to both sides. So let me write plus x square and plus x square. So minus x square plus x square will be cancelled out. left hand side will be x square plus x times 2 root x plus 1 equal to 49 i can further write x square plus 2x root x plus x equal to 49 now i can write this x as Root x whole square. Now x square plus two x root x plus root x square is equal to forty nine. Now if I will consider x as a root x as b, then it is a square plus two ab plus b square written. So in that place I can write a plus b whole square. that means x plus root x whole square so i will write x plus root x whole square it will be equal to 49 or 7 square also so i can write x plus root x whole square equal to 7 square now consider square root both sides So I will be having x plus root x. This will be equal to plus and minus seven. Now left hand side is positive only. So right hand side cannot be negative. Rejected minus sign. So plus sign is accepted. So I will write x plus root x. Equal to seven. 
Now we have to evaluate the expression x plus 7 by root x. Now I will consider the same equation and I will divide both sides by root x. This is our method number 1 or you can say approach number 1. So I will write x plus root x divided by root x equal to 7 by root x. Now I will split numerator with respect to denominator. So x by root x plus root x by root x equal to 7 by root x. Or I can write x by root x as root x root x by root x 1 and right hand side it is 7 over root x. Now I will call this is my equation 1. I will call this is my equation 2 and we have to evaluate x plus 7 by root x it is. Let's calculate. So I will be writing both the equations 1 x plus root x equal to 7 and root x plus 1 equal to 7 by root x. Let us calculate this expression. So I will be writing e equal to x plus 7 by root x. 7 by root x is root x plus 1. So x plus root x plus 1. Now from first equation x plus root x is 7. So I can write it is 7 plus 1. So our final answer becomes E equal to 8. Now I will share approach number 2, method number 2. Let us write our equation once x plus root x was 7. Now can we write x as root x whole square plus root x minus 7 equal to 0. This equation is quadratic in root x. So let us find root x using quadratic formula. So I will be writing minus b. So let me write minus 1 plus minus under the root b square. So 1 square 1 minus 4ac. So I will be writing plus 28 divided by 2a which will be 2. So I can write minus 1 plus minus square root 29 divided by 2. So I will be writing minus 1 plus root 29 divided by 2 and with minus sign minus 1 minus root 29 divided by 2 root x will be always positive. So I will reject this minus. It cannot be negative. So which value we are going to accept? It is root x is equal to root 29 minus 1 over 2. Now we have to evaluate x plus 7 over root x. Let us apply the value. Let's put over there. So I will write e equal to x plus 7 over root x. Let's put both the value root x and x. So I will write here what was root x. It was root 29 minus 1 divided by 2. Which I will apply here. And what about x? So I will consider squaring both sides. So I will write here root 29 minus 1 over 2 whole square which will be equal to 29 plus 1 minus 2 root 29 divided by 4 or I can write 30 minus 2 root 29 divided by 4 or I can write 15 minus root 29 divided by 2. Let's plug in both the values. X, I will write 
15 minus root 29 divided by 2 plus 7 over root x. It is root 29 minus 1 over 2. So it will come in the numerator. Now I can write 15 minus root 29 over 2 plus 14 over root 29 minus 1. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So I will be writing here root 29 plus 1. In numerator also root 29 plus 1. So I can write 15 minus root 29 over 2 plus 14 times root 29 plus 1 and denominator will give us root 29 square minus 1 square which will be 28 using difference of 2 squares identity. Now 14 and 28 we can cancel by writing 2. Now simply add the numerators divided by 2. 15 minus root 29 plus root 29 plus 1 divided by 2. So these two will be over and we will get 15 plus 1 16 over 2. So 8. Our answer using this approach it is matching with the first one 8. And this brings the end of the video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.